Hello coders, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to deploy a Gatsby JS static site to a virtual private server or a VPS for short. Now, if you've been following along with the Twitch live streams, you'll know that I've been creating a PHP object oriented course. And in the live streams, I've been demonstrating how I'm actually going to be building the application that I'm going to be teaching in that course. This Gatsby JS website will be hosting those live streams and the course itself when it's finally completed. Now, before I show you the website itself, I'm just going to dive into the code and show you how the Gatsby site is structured. And then we're going to talk about how to deploy that to a virtual private server. So let's take a look at the code that runs the Gatsby JS site. So here we're running npm install and then Gatsby CLI, and we're doing that globally. So that's going to install the Gatsby CLI globally to our system. Then we're going to run npm install to install all of the dependencies for Gatsby and also the dependencies that I've added to this website. And then we're going to run the development server, which is Gatsby develop. Let's run that first locally, just to make sure that the website is running before I discuss how to deploy this to a virtual private server. So inside a terminal, what I need to do is run those commands. Now I've already ran the Gatsby CLI installation as well as the NPM install. So what I need to do here is I need to run Gatsby and then develop like so. Pressing enter, this is going to run through the development server and build our pages. So now it's completed, we can actually run the local host on port 8000 in our browser and we can see our development website. One of the differences between development and production modes is that with production, it is a static site. It's been built already. Whereas with development, it's listening to changes that you make to the code. And that's going to update the website in development mode on the fly. Of course, this is actually far slower than having a production ready static site. You shouldn't be using development mode in production at all. Okay, so let's talk about moving this to a production web server. The VPS that we're going to be using to host this Gatsby JS website is from Hostinger. Hostinger is a very affordable and reliable web hosting platform. I've used them in the past with some of my previous projects, and they're also sponsoring this video. They've got a fantastic deal on at the moment. If you go to hostinger.com forward slash Peter Fisher, you'll get 77% off your VPS hosting. Also, if you type Peter Fisher in the discount code at checkout, you'll get a further 15% off your order. So now our VPS on Hostinger has been set up. So after SSHing into the virtual private server, we can now set up the Gatsby JS website. If I typed LS here, we can see that we have that website already cloned and checked out on this VPS. Now, depending upon your virtual server setup, you might need to install some dependencies to do this, including Git. If I go into the actual website, so if I go to the directory here and then do a git pull, we can pull down any changes in the master branch. Now we need to build the static files for the Gatsby JS site. So we're going to type Gatsby and then build. After the Gatsby JS build has ran, we should now have a public folder within our code repository. And this public folder will hold the static files for the Gatsby JS website. So if I typed LS here, we should see that we have a public folder holding all of our static files. I'm just going to take a look at that. So I'm just going to do LS into public. So that is all of the static files for this website. So how do you actually get from building a Gatsby JS website to actually having it visible on a virtual private server? Depending upon your virtual server setup, you might have Apache, you might even have Nginx. You may need to install those yourself. This VPS that I'm running here uses Apache and Apache has the default document route of var, ww, and then html. So let's take a look at that. Let's go to cd and then var, then 
www. Let's press enter here. Now in this directory, there is a HTML folder. If I typed LS, we can see that we have a HTML and we also have a folder that I've created called maintenance. Now notice that one folder has a different color than the other one. If I typed LS hyphen AL here, we can see that it's actually a sim link to this public directory that we've just seen. So HTML is actually linked to home deploy and then the repository name forward slash public. That is the directory that we've just built when we ran that Gatsby build command. Don't worry too much about the maintenance folder here. This is something that I created myself just so I can change the sim link from the public directory to the maintenance folder whenever I'm doing any kind of server maintenance. Using sim links like this means that I can go straight into the HTML folder and this is actually going into that public folder that we've just created. This means that the index.html file will be used when we land on this website. And so now everything is set up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final website. So that is how you can deploy a Gatsby JS static site to a virtual private server. This website is currently live. It's learnobjectorientatedphp.com. Links in the show notes below. And thank you very much, Hostinger, for sponsoring this video. At the moment, Hostinger has a fantastic deal on for VPSs. If you go to hostinger.com forward slash Peter Fisher, you'll get 77% off your VPS order. And if you use the discount code Peter Fisher at checkout, you'll get a further 15% off your order. Links in the show notes too. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel because I've got other videos like this coming up, as well as previous courses to do with Linux, PHP, Python, JavaScript, and Docker. Do check them out if you are wanting to progress in web development. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.